Okay, here is a third example with problem solving where you're going to have to make substitutions. It tells us Edward and Jacob decide to race. Jacob runs at 5.7 meters per second while Edward runs at 8.1 meters per second. If Jacob cheated and started 4.8 seconds before Edward, but they finish at the same time, how far did they run? First thing we want to do is draw our diagram. So we've got Jacob running, and we've got Edward running faster. So the blue will be Edward, the green will be Jacob. Let's list what we're given. We know that Jacob's speed, so we'll call that VJ, is 5.7 meters per second. We know that Edward's speed, I'll call that VE, is 8.1 meters per second. And we know that the time for Jacob, so we'll call that TJ, is 4.8 seconds plus however long Edward was running. So since he started sooner, um, his time will be longer since they're running the same distance. We also know that delta X for Edward is the same as delta X for Jacob, so we can just call that delta X since that is a consistent distance. And that is also what we are trying to find. We are looking for delta X. So let's start by looking at each runner individually. For Jacob, we know that his speed will equal the distance over the time. And we know that for Edward, speed for Edward equals delta x over the time it takes him to run. I know already what vj and ve are. I know that these delta x's are equal to each other and I have time for Jacob in terms of time for Edward. So although I have two unknowns, I have two equations, so it's going to be easy enough to solve. The first thing I want to do is get rid of fractions, just because I don't like them. I tend to always multiply those out. So we have Vj, Tj equaling delta x, and then over here we have Ve, Te equaling delta x. Again, because these delta x's are equal, I'm just going to set these two equal to each other. So that gives us vj tj equaling ve te. I know vj, I know ve, I have tj in terms of te right over here. So I'm going to make in a substitution. Substituting in this expression where tj equals 4.8 seconds plus te for tj. And I'm going to do this on the next slide since I'm out of room. So we get vj substituting in for tj 4.8 seconds plus te equaling V E T E. Now my only unknown is Edward's time, so we have to do the algebra and figure this out. So the first thing I'm going to do is distribute the VJ. So we get VJ 4.8 seconds plus VJ T E equals V E T E. I want to get what I'm solving for isolated, so I'm going to bring this over here. Vj, 4.8 seconds, equals Ve, Te, minus Vj, Te. Factoring out the Te on the right-hand side, Vj, 4.8 seconds, equals Te, Ve, minus Vj. And then, again, just isolating the TE, I'm going to divide both sides by what's in parentheses. VJ, 
4.8 seconds divided by VE minus VJ equals TE. Notice how the only number I have in here right now is this 4.8 seconds. Uh, that's just something that was given. I have not actually plugged in any of my other given numbers in terms of the variables. So this 4.8 seconds, you can kind of, it's not exactly a multiplier, but it's something that had to be added to. There was no way to do this algebraically without that number. Now I am ready to put in the numbers. So let's go over to the next slide, and I'm out of room. So my VJ, just rewriting this, times 4.8 seconds divided by VE minus VJ. VJ was equal to 5.7 meters per second times 4.8 seconds divided by 8.1 meters per second minus 5.7 meters per second. Sorry, and this all equals Edwards' time. 5.7 times 4.8 is 27.36. The units, seconds cancel, so you're left with meters on the top, over 8.1 minus 5.7 is 2.4. Units over here are meters per second, equaling the time for Edward. Dividing those, we get an even 11.4 seconds for his time. How do I know those units are seconds? Just a quick unit check over here. You get meters over meters per second. This equals meters times seconds over one meters. Meters cancel, left with units of seconds. We were solving for a time. It makes sense that the units should be seconds. So Edward's time is 11.4 seconds. Now we have to figure out the distance. I had written on a previous slide that delta x equaled Edward's speed times Edward's time. So this will equal the speed, 8.1 meters per second, times the time we just solved for, 11.4 seconds. 8.1 times 11.4 gives us 92.34 meters. Again, the seconds cancel. Sig figs, uh, we only have two sig figs, so delta x will round to approximately 92 meters. So it's a very short race. Uh, let's see, say he cheated, so Edward got mad and chased him and tackled him. That's probably why the distance was so short. Also, it was a short time that he got the head start for and close enough speeds. So yes, it was a short race, but these numbers do make sense.